Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. We've been really busy this weekend and nothing's completely finished, but we'll show you what we've been up to. And Daddy is getting a truckload of brush stone and he's going to do just where we park. Oh, that's going to be a lot better than the sand, that's for sure. Well, it'll help with the drainage, too. Oh, Daddy's got his toy. Somehow, that toy was supposed to be for the paddock this weekend, but it looks like we're getting some gravel done first. Holy crap. Oh, this looks awesome, honey. This almost, if you put a bottom in that, or t tidy that up, we could put the... Are you putting any birds in there this year? I think that's coming down and I'm reworking the paddock. Well, we've got to have room for birds somewhere soon. I can't keep keeping them in bins in the house. Oh my God, the stinkies. Oh, that's some rich soil though, boy. Rubbled it all out in there. Or it's all humped yeah. up from the last time. I gotta let it dry and then I'll rake it all. Are you marking the paddock, Gracie? Where's Frankie? Frankie, what are you doing? There's Grace. And Frankie, enjoying my new gravel. Which I just got yesterday. Got it all in, leveled out. Hopefully it'll keep all the sand out of the house. That's my goal, and to keep the water draining. Thanks to that there machine, some potato trenches. You can tell I was very tired at the end of the day. And that one is a little crooked, but that's okay. Potatoes won't mind. And the greenhouse is coming along. Done some framing, used some of the old materials, some of the old crates, just some simple framing. It's just a greenhouse. Not like anyone's living in it, not even livestock, so that's that. <laughs> hey Frank, yeah. So gotta tear all these old pens down. I'm gonna re rebuild them, tidy them up so the coons don't get my critters. And a lot, of, a lot of stuff to burn. The old floor of the old barn still, I'm working on it. But the paddock, it's a little messy, but I got it flattened out. It'd be nice to be able to seed it and let it go for a year and then put the goats out in it, but they got a little bit of green to eat. My goal is to get the goats out as soon as possible and the little piglies, but uh, time is definitely against me. Anyway. That's what I've been up to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this little guy is having some problems. He was the late at last one to hatch. He was in the shell longer than the rest. So what I've done is I've, and he's a bit spraddled legs. So what I've done is wrapped a piece of tape around each foot with a piece in between and hopefully that will help him exercise the one leg he's not using because they'll have to work together. He's still a little wobbly but at least he's just not flopping on his side. You can see that his one leg being taped to the other with only an inch and a half is actually giving him some support. Nancy's here and she just helped me with little turtle here. We took the tape off his feet because well it's they, it was too far apart and we used a little bit of satin ribbon and then just taped it in the center and brought his feet closer together. See how this one keeps going down? So back in you go, buddy. So he's moving pretty. He doesn't like having his legs tied together, but he's actually moving a whole lot better than before where he just kind of pushed himself around with one leg and flopped all over the place. Hey, buddy. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, I'll update you in a couple of days as to how our turtle is doing. But so far, everything seems to be going as planned. Mwah. Take care, God bless.